it was kind of like a, a, a pinch me moment throughout the whole process. This is the right place, this is the right time, this is, this is the right people to kind of bring this, this story to life. I'm uh, Blair Warren. I am a creative director at Wyden and Kennedy. I'm Neko McKay, and I am a power forward for the Los Angeles Sparks. My name is Ricardo Marquez. I am the VP of Marketing for Michelob Ultra. Brooks Kapka, professional golfer. Walk me through how this concept came together. Like, why a bowling alley? Why the nod to the Big Lebowski? We brew Michelob Ultra for those who know that it's only worth it if you enjoy it. But in layman's terms, what that really means to all of us is that with Nicola Boltra's, you know, ingredients, the low cal, low carb ingredients behind uh, their beverages, you can work out and not feel bad about having a beer at the end of the day. Um, and even better, you can wake up the next day and do it all over again. So that's kind of the the, the center, uh, the central message here, right? We want to show how some of the world's greatest, hardest working athletes take time to enjoy themselves over some uh, Miklo Boltres. How did you get this cast of characters together and, and why were they the right fit? Well, we're looking for amazing athletes who represent Miklo Boltres' point of view around joy and enjoyment. And so with that, we were able to tap into this awesome roster of athletes. But then also, I have to go back to the commitment we made last year. We made a $100 million commitment to advancing the women's visibility in, in sports. It was appealing for me because I'm very conscious about brands that I align with and Michelob represents that uh, enjoying life, being great at what you do, but also that not being exclusive to any particular person, most especially in my experience, a woman um, and a woman athlete. You know, to have all these other athletes, you know, best in their sport, arguably the greatest ever, it, it's pretty cool. And, and to be around those people and, um, you know, and to be partnered with Michelob Ultra, uh, you know, you're surrounding yourself with the best and that's, uh, you know, it drives me. Why does a beer brand care about gender equality in sports? And like, why is that the issue uh, that you're tackling here? It's not only the right thing to do, but it's also the right thing for, for, for business. When you actually take a closer look at Michelob Ultra, we actually over-index in uh, female drinkers more than the average category. So that's the part where I'm, you know, we're thinking this is uh, relevant for, for business and the future of the category on this brand. But then again, it's also the right thing to do. We believe that equal representation in sports goes back to what we're about in terms of joy. The world of sports would be even more joyful if we would see this equal representation across the board. Bowling really is an equalizer. It's not about anyone having a leg up or an advantage over the other. And so I think that's why this space and this kind of movie scene in particular felt right for all of our uh, people involved. The most I bowl would probably be, you know, after a game at Crypto and we go across the street to Lucky Strike. That's basically what I do. So I know how, but I'm not about to necessarily give you strike after strike. <laughs> Got a bowling class in high school, and basically it brought me back to that time frame. What was it like? Uh, what do you remember the most? Sort of help me help me understand what what that experience was like of, of shooting. It was incredibly fun uh, watching uh, these moments unfold. When you look at the spot, it feels as if all of these athletes are in that very same place at the same time but that was not really the case. So we shot multiple days with different athletes. That's one of the fun facts behind the shoot. My day was with Peyton and it was such an honor working with him. And that was the first time I met him in real life. He is fortuitous. Like I didn't realize how tall he was. We really try and tap into each person's personality and their own style of enjoyment. One moment in particular, like we put Jimmy Butler in the karaoke area and that guy is a human jukebox. The set was very, very fun and eclectic and I, I really enjoyed the vibe of the set. These athletes, they're not professional actors. So what you're getting in terms of emotion is exactly how they were feeling and, and how much fun they were having on a bowling alley enjoying the process. And that was essential. I would say for what you see on camera and, and the overall kind of quality and an impact of the of the spot. Who exactly are you targeting with these spots? 
I hope that the target audience is, is all of America, admittedly. Um, but I think um, we definitely like to talk to people who have a desire to to have a, you know an, an active and, and healthy life. And we're talking to people who identify themselves with this idea. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. But at the end of the day, I really hope that you know both with the classic nature of our bowling alley and even the track that we chose. I hope that it gets everybody uh, smiling along. Um, and I really do hope it kind of goes beyond Ultra's um, normal target, if you will, and, and, and kind of can reach the masses.